Here we are at the 1749 West 11th Street property. This is our, one of our newest acquisitions, a new property we've got under contract. It is uh, 880 plus square feet, three bedrooms, one bath, concrete block. It is uh, part of an estate that we have contracted with. The lady lived in there and just till just very recently and uh, we're buying it from the estate. Just to the right of the entranceway is a kitchen, space saver kitchen in good shape. Got a location for a range, whether it is uh, gas or electric, and it appears to be electric. You also have a connection for washing machine, as well as a breakfast room. Now you'll note the wall air conditioning unit, the house is uh, cooled with window units uh, or through the wall units. It does not have central heat and air, um, but the concrete block house, uh, it's over 80 degrees and it's well in the, uh, the, the uh, upper 60s to 70s in here. It seems to be keeping it very temperate. Just to the left of the front door, you got the sitting area, family room, uh, living area, whatever you want to call that. Down the hallway, to the left is your first bedroom, a nice closet, immediately past that is what is considered to be the master bedroom and that's because it's got an exit door to the outside to the back of the house. Got a couple of windows here in the corner with another nice closet. Right next door at the end of the hall is the third bedroom. Corner on it also, two windows with a good sized closet. Here's the furnace. It is an oil-fired furnace. Seems to be operational. I'd recommend you, uh, if you're interested, to go ahead and swap that out to a, uh, an electric uh, central heat and air system, but it seems to be operational. The bathroom has not been updated, upgraded, but does seem to be very functional. Does not appear to be any damage to the tile around the, clock, the uh, shower. May have had a little bit of a leak in the water line as uh, evidenced by the stain down there in the tub, but everything appears to be operational here. You've got a little bit of paint falling down from the ceiling and uh, plaster coming down just specifically from the, uh, the uh, moisture inside the bathroom. Does not appear it to be any, any evidence of any kind of a roof leak whatsoever. Um, but that's something you have to confirm on your own. It has been upgraded with a 200 amp electrical panel and service. In the closet here you've got the water heater in this hall closet. Appears to be operational. Throughout the house, all the way throughout the house, you've got hardwood, what appears to be oak floors. It does not appear to be any major damage to the floors whatsoever. So that wraps up the inside.